Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. Battlefield 5 will be chock full of weapons. We've already seen quite a few in concept art and the game's love it or hate it trailer. For this video, I'll point out every weapon we've spotted so far, and this includes a couple of things I've seen behind closed doors. Obviously, some of this information could change by release. For support weapons, the fully automatic brand light machine gun featured prominently in the Battlefield 5 trailer. Generally, it features a 30-round top-loaded magazine and a fire rate of around 500 rounds per minute. It was a workhorse of British military forces in World War II. In a behind-the-scenes briefing, I spotted a SIG KE-7 light machine gun. This Swiss export fired from a 25-round box magazine with a fire rate of at least 500 rounds per minute. The weapon was actually used by the Republic of China and saw service against the Japanese. Interestingly, the KE-7 featured two fire modes without a selector switch. Pulling the trigger back slightly fired single shots, while a further pull resulted in automatic fire. Of course, we also saw the MG-42 in the Battlefield 5 trailer, fed by a 50-round belt. Concept art also showed the gun fed from a drum magazine. This weapon had a fire rate of up to 1,500 rounds per minute, and the version in the trailer featured a foregrip, custom muzzle brake, and camouflage. The Lewis gun will also likely find its way into Battlefield 5. The Road to Battlefield 5 screen on Battlefield 1 reveals players can earn a skin for the weapon in both Battlefield 5 and Battlefield 1. The Lewis gun generally fired from a 47 or 97 round magazine at the rate of around 500 rounds per minute. For submachine guns, the M1928 Thompson got a lot of screen time in the trailer. Sporting 20-round magazines, we actually see both vertical and horizontal foregrips in the trailer. Fully automatic, the M1928 Thompson had a fire rate of around 700 rounds per minute. We also saw an MP40 submachine gun a few times in the trailer. This fully automatic weapon featured a 32-round magazine and a fire rate of 500 rounds per minute. There were a lot of variants to this family of weapons, so DICE has a lot of options for customization. If you blinked during the Battlefield 5 reveal stream, you might have missed the Irma EMP submachine gun. This gun appears on a spawn screen mock-up. The Irma EMP featured a 32-round magazine and a fire rate of 500 rounds per minute. The weapon did see service in World War II with both French and German forces, and mechanically it shares a lot of similarities with the MP40, as both were designed by Heinrich Vollmer. For semi-automatic rifles, the Gewehr 43 was also spotted in that spawn screen mock-up. This German rifle features a 10-round box magazine and saw service on several fronts. I also spotted the M1 Garand in concept art, and it's hard to imagine DICE not including it in a World War II game. The M1 fires from an 8-round Integral magazine fed by an N-block clip. The weapon is known for the ping it makes when that empty clip is ejected. Meanwhile, the M1 Carbine is featured in Battlefield 5's key art. This lightweight rifle featured a 15-round magazine and was commonly issued to paratroopers because of its compact design. Battlefield 5 will also reportedly add assault rifles, according to a briefing we had behind closed doors. In a mock-up for the weapon selection screen, I spotted the description Gustloff Prototype. Unfortunately, Gustloff manufactured several prototype assault weapons, but it's likely the MP507, the infamous last-ditch rifle issued to the Volkssturm in the final days of World War II. This semi-automatic weapon featured a 30-round magazine. The Sturmgewehr 44 was also on this mock-up, and it can be seen in the Battlefield 5 reveal trailer. It fired from a 30-round magazine at a rate of around 500 rounds per minute. Battlefield 5 will also feature the MKB-42, which I actually misidentified as a Sturmgewehr 44 in my previous trailer analysis. This weapon is very similar to the Sturmgewehr 44 and identical in its magazine size and rate of fire, so it will be interesting to see how DICE distinguishes these two in gameplay. For bolt-action rifles, information on these has actually been 
pretty scarce. We saw the Lee Enfield Mark IV features prominently in concept art for Battlefield V, as well as the game's trailer. It fires from a 10-round magazine. I also spotted the Car 98K in concept art for Battlefield V. It's hard to imagine DICE not including it with the new game, given that the Car 98 was the standard weapon for German infantry during World War II. Unlike its British counterpart, the Car 98K only held five rounds via an integral magazine. For sidearms, the venerable M1911 pistol is featured prominently in key art and concept art for Battlefield V. Its magazine has a seven-round capacity, and the 1911 remained the standard firearm for American forces until the 1980s. Concept art also shows the Luger P08 will return with Battlefield V. This toggle-lock pistol fired from an eight-round magazine and should be familiar to Battlefield veterans. In the Battlefield V trailer, we also saw the Valtha P38 in action. This pistol was intended to replace the aging Luger with a more simplified design. Like its predecessor, it features an eight-round magazine capacity. The reveal trailer also showcased a few anti-tank weapons. The British Piat launcher was prominently featured, as was the German Panzerschreck. Mock-ups for Battlefield V's loadout screens also revealed DICE will include the single-use Panzerfaust as a gadget in the new game. So, what are your thoughts on some of the weapons we can expect to see featured in Battlefield V? Just a reminder, this is not a comprehensive list of weapons, it's only what we've been shown so far. Are there any weapons in particular you would like to see added with Battlefield V? Tell me down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. If you want to support the channel, share the video. And as always, thanks for watching.